Yo, we're back again with another video, guys, and the 2K community just found the fastest and easiest centerpiece that you can get right now in the new game mode that 2K ended up adding this year in NBA 2K23, my team, and they also do include most of the trophy case exchange cards that you do need if you're going after the first free Dark Matter, the free Galaxy Opals, and then obviously the Pink Diamond reward cards that we do have in the trophy case, and leave a like right now on the video if you want to see more updates like these, because this right here is so easy to do that every single person watching this video should definitely go after it, and also let me know down in the comments right now how many trophy case players do you currently have do you have one maybe two maybe ten maybe five let me know down in the comments and we're gonna get right into it so the thing that we are talking about in today's video is going to be the new game mode that 2k ended up adding this year and that of course is going to be triple threat online co-op right here and take a look at this so you guys can see early on some of the rewards you get two tokens with one win you get 250 mt three tokens 250 and so on and now there's two different game modes you do have the competitive one which you do play online against other people as you guys can see you know you got team one team two and there's also the regular co-op that you actually go up against the cpu as you guys can tell right there team two is full of cpus so again you got the co-op one that's offline and then online is going to be the one against you know three different users online and so on now in the competitive one you can also end up going after the players that 2k does add for takeover cards for example we got martin in there we got wiggins and then we do also have the ferocious pack however though in the offline one you cannot get those just keep that in mind but i'm gonna show you guys some of the rewards though i do want to give a big shout out to this user on twitter crabbed he ended up you know basically tweeting out all these pictures and i'm gonna show you guys all the rewards and take a look at this picture right here you end up getting a trophy case centerpiece exchange at 50 wins yes you heard me correctly at 50 wins and there's so many other rewards too that i'm gonna show you guys but right here though this has to be the fastest and easiest centerpiece that you can get right now with the new season outside of the token market because obviously there's two in the token market for 1500 tokens which is a lot of tokens but with this one you just go out there with some friends and you can do the offline side you can do the online side depending what you want to do and then at 50 wins you already get a centerpiece and there's a bunch of other stuff as well and you can just tell that 2k really wants people to play this game more the new one this season because of all the rewards you guys can also see right here you end up getting an elite franchise moment exchange at 70 wins you get 2500 mt for 75 wins 25 tokens at 65 and then you do also end up getting an elite franchise highlight exchange at 60 wins and so you guys can see you can definitely get a lot of the trophy cases that you do need right now if you're going for the first free dark matter that 2k already said will be available this season maybe you're trying to get that galaxy of anthony davis jimmy butler whatever the case is or maybe you're trying to get some pink diamonds like derrick rose russell westbrook sabonis james worthy stuff like that and then obviously you guys can also see 2500 mt for 55 wins and then you can play with some friends right here if you guys don't have any friends comment down below you know your username and see if anybody invites you and then that way you guys can play triple threat co-op and get these rewards and there's still even more rewards that you guys can get and so crap ended up tweeting out this picture right here too that at 100 wins you end up getting a season 2 co-op hall of fame badge option pack and you guys can see that contains 10 hall of fame badges i'll show you all the badges in a bit too because he ended up tweeting out those pictures as well but you can also end up getting a current team photo exchange at 90 wins 2500 mt at 95 wins 25 tokens at 85 wins and then also legendary franchise moment exchange at 80 wins and as you guys can tell you can get every single trophy case that you would need for a reward card in the trophy case grind except for the obviously the domination one and then the one that you do end up getting for completing the collection like every single one is a available now when it comes to the hall of fame badge pack you guys can see right here there's interceptor there's mismatch experts there's space creator limitless range quick first step obviously go for limitless range that's a really good badge or interceptor if you want to add it to a player there's also floor general there's anchor there's break starter there's break wall there's green machine and so you guys can tell it's really rewarding i'm actually surprised that 2k well not really that surprised because you can tell that 2k really wants people to play it and i'm definitely gonna have to play a lot of triple threat co-op especially with all these rewards and then we keep it going at 150 wins there's a historic jersey exchange and so again they have basically every single trophy except the domination and the collection one 5000 mt at 145 wins a current jersey exchange at 140 wins 35 tokens at 135 wins and then you do also end up getting the historic team photo exchange at 130 wins that is crazy bro fast is an easiest centerpiece and then on top of that you can still get the other pieces that you need for whatever reward card that you're trying to get right now in my team and it just keeps going more trophy case rewards more everything and so right here another picture from crabbed at 160 wins you do end up getting a current pen and exchange which you do need at 35 tokens at 155 wins you do also end up getting a historic jersey exchange at 150 wins and then 5000 mt at 145 and then you do also end up getting a current jersey exchange 
for 140 wins right there in triple threat co-op and he's been doing a nice little mix of both i do believe he's mainly doing the offline one where you do play the cpu so you can definitely do that one too but you can definitely do you know the competitive one and the offline whatever you want to do and then there's also more rewards at 180 wins you do end up getting a historic pen in exchange you do end up getting 35 tokens for 175 wins and then you do also end up getting that elite franchise accolade exchange at 170 wins which a lot of people do need and so you can definitely get it there too 5000 mt at 165 and then you do end up getting the current pen and exchange at 160 wins and so you walk away with a bunch of free mt tokens the exchanges that you need the trophy cases the centerpiece and then it just keeps going guys at 200 wins you do end up getting another season two co-op hall of fame option pack which does contain those 10 hall of fame badges 35 tokens at one 95 wins you do also end up getting a super trophy case pack at 190 wins that one does contain a current a moment and historic trophy card that you might need and then also at 5000 mt you got 185 wins and then also you do end up getting the historic pendant exchange at 180 wins and guess what there's still even more rewards after 200 wins in triple threat co-op now obviously 200 is a lot of games that you got to play but at the same time though 50 games gives you the centerpiece and then whatever else you're missing you can get in triple threat co-op or you can do it with the agendas leveling up other ways of getting those pieces too but you guys can also see right here there's more rewards at 220 wins you do end up getting another super trophy case pack which again contains current historic and moments all three of those and then you do also end up getting 7500 mt at 215 wins you end up getting another super trophy case pack at 210 wins you do end up getting 35 tokens at 205 and then like i mentioned earlier 200 wins you do end up getting that season option pack and then also depending on how you go about it you do still have a chance of getting those takeover players even though i don't really see many people getting the takeover or players from you know the rng and so you know that's going to be super rare but maybe you'll get a ferocious pack or whatever else 2k does end up updating it as they update it with new players and new packs and so on and so definitely there's the competitive one and there's the co-op one the one that you go against the cpu and i did also cover in a previous video all the other center pieces that 2k ended up adding in this new season so definitely check out that video too and then also check out the videos that i've been uploading as i get my trophy case players and the rewards because i've gotten some really good ones and i'm definitely going to be playing a lot of this with my stream and so make sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash pro story i'm always streaming when I get a chance and so we'll definitely be doing some co-op we'll play together and everything like that but I did just want to give you guys a nice little heads up that the centerpiece is available at 50 wins so if that's all you're missing you can just do that instead of paying 1500 tokens in the token market or completing a game mode like 250 you know triple it offline wins and so this will be this video guys let me know what you think about it leave a like on the video if you want to see you know these pieces be easier subscribe and comment down below and we're going to call it with this one make sure to check out the other videos that I uploaded I ended up opening the new season packs it was crazy and if you guys do want to get more centerpieces check out this other video where we covered all the new ones that two ended up adding and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video